we have a lot of new stuff that's happening today in the marketplace, like social impact investment, social entrepreneurship, different kind of funds, different kind of ways that um, people and organizations can help people. It is something that fundraisers really need to understand because whether they like it or not, different forms of um, innovation is going to happen in their own time. And usually they won't have a say in when they happen and how they happen and how that impact their work. So I think um, at the very minimum, fundraisers need to be very well aware of everything that is happening and to be able to critically evaluate how uh, those new innovations impact in their own work. But I thought if fundraisers can be prepared and can be equipped with this kind of information, they can potentially lead uh, the trend in some way that could drive their charitable purpose better. You don't even need to choose the one person who has the technology in them. You just need to choose the one person who thoroughly understand the purpose and they can find technicians to surround themselves with. At this stage, what the research can show is simply based on the academic literature on these topics, what might be the area that we think fundraisers uh, should look at in order to equip themselves better um, and in order to create better giving experiences. I think the biggest message coming from the research is that we really need to um, let go this idea that there is a good way of taking care of people or there is a good group of people that we need to take care of. I think um, from the donor's perspective, the choice between do I donate or do I invest, because if I invest, I might do some bad, and if I give, I might do some good, that kind of di um, dichotomy simply doesn't exist anymore. Is you can do good actually um, by investing and you might do bad when you give if you don't really understand how the money is spent and how the impact is made and um, how the coordination happens and all that. And I think also from the fundraiser's perspective, they need to really give up this idea that if I'm taking care of my donors or I'm taking care of my beneficiary, no matter how much personal sacrifice I do, I'm still doing a good job as a fundraiser. That doesn't have to be the case. They should feel that it is within their professional practice that they understand how to sustain themselves in this profession. And they shouldn't necessarily over-sacrifice. And I think in order for them not to over-sacrifice is for them to always ask, is there a different way that I can look at the situation? Can I create another way or another choice. And usually that kind of problem solving requires innovation and creativity.